Good morning, secondary school two students. I'm Mr. Xiao, and today I want to go through this uh, source-based case study on the first Medica talks. So you should have this worksheet with you and writing materials uh, and your responses, if you have already done this, um, so you can check your answers. At any point, you can speed up, slow down, or pause this video to suit your learning pace. Uh, so first of all, this is a full set of source-based questions. Uh, worth 25 marks, um, which could be quite similar to what you might see in your end of year examination. And you should answer the questions based on your uh, banding, whether you are a G2 or G3 core student. So let's start with um, question 1a. What is the message of this source? This is a message question. Um, and perhaps you should analyze all the questions first. So source B, why do you think Mr. Fong gave this account in 1956? This is a purpose question, which means we should use VAMO to respond to this. If we were to look at, also the ATQ here is why, which means that we need to use the, the word because in our ATQ. Uh, study source C. So there are two different types of questions here. Um, for G2, what does the source tell you about the reason for the failure of the Medica talks? This is an inference question. And for G3, is this source reliable in telling us about why the Medica talks failed? This is um, a reliability question. Uh, finally, study sources D and E. How different are these sources? The ATQ, the word here different, suggests that the ATQ must be similar and different. And this would be a comparison question. So I've analyzed all the question types. There are actually five types of questions here. Um, and you will only do four of them, depending on which stream you are in, G2 or G3. So perhaps let's start with um, source A. Uh, before I start with source A, let's look at the background information. Why did the first Medica talks fail? In fact, this paper is the one I set for the 2021 uh, Secondary 2 Express cohort, um, the 2E History exam. So it's quite narrowly focus on the first Medica, Medica talks, which means that you would need to know something about the first Medica talks in order to successfully uh, respond to this paper, in particular the purpose and the reliability questions. So the talks were held in London, and what are they? They are actually a negotiation in order for Singapore to gain self-rule. In other words, Singapore here is the supplicant. We are asking for more powers. Uh, on top of that, which was already given, um, if you recall, by the Randall Commission of 1953. And the leader of the Singapore side was David Marshall. Uh, and this might start to trigger some memories of what this first Medica talks about. Uh, David Marshall was the leader of the Labour Front. The Labour Front won the the 955 elections, which is why they are leading the, the drive to, to get more powers. But the first Medeca talks included leaders of other political parties, including Lim, Lee Kuan Yew and Lim Chin Siong, and these are the PAP stalwarts. They are the two founders of the PAP, and very different men they are. Lee Kuan Yew, the Cambridge-educated, English-speaking lawyer, and Lim Chin Siong, the Chinese-educated, uh, popular, uh, trade unionist leader. Singapore hoped to win full internal self-government, but the talks broke down when David Marshall refused to accept British control over internal security. So this is a key uh, element of understanding about the talks, which is that the British demanded to maintain the power to arrest anyone they wanted in Singapore. And specifically at this point, 
the British are thinking of the communists. The context in the region is that Malaya is fighting a communist insurgency. Uh, this is the Malayan emer emergency. Uh, so the British fear that if communist leaders were to fly, flee into Singapore, they would be um, hidden. And so the British wanted to have that power to arrest any communist leaders. Of course, this just runs contrary to the idea that we rule ourselves, because if the British can come in and arrest anyone willy-nilly, then, then that makes a mockery and a farce of the idea of self-government. So Marshall said, no, uh, we need to have internal self-government. And then the British responded, no, then you have nothing at all. Um, so Marshall came back, came back to Singapore empty-handed. And as you recall, Marshall then resigned from his post as chief minister. The overarching, the overarching question for, for this entire case study is why did the Merdeka talks fail? And two responses are, are, are given in the background information. One says that, well, it's because Marshall was stubborn and refused to back down over the question of internal security. Um, another response is that, well, the British weren't that keen on giving Singapore extra powers. So with this context, which I believe would be very helpful for you to understand the sources ahead, um, let's now respond to the questions. The first question is a message question. What is the message of source A? Explain your answer. And I see that source A um, has a group of people um, headed to London. So the word headed to London, here's, here is important to realize, which means that they're still in Singapore. Haven't gone to London. They're still in Singapore and they're meeting at the chief minister's office. The chief minister here is David Marshall. And you recall that from one of the earlier sources we did from the chapter 7B worksheet, that even this office was demanded by Marshall. Previously, the British weren't that keen on giving him a, an office. And Marshall said, well, if you don't give me an office, I'll, I'll, I'll set up shop under the apple tree and threaten the British to, to give him an office. So, so they're meeting with Marshall. It's probably a strategy meeting. So sort of what's our tactic to sort of persuade the British to give us more powers? Um, what's the message? So we need to generate ideas. Um, I see Lim Chin Siong, by the way, the, the gentleman here in the middle, sort of diminutive and a bit shorter than others, but, but nevertheless, very magnetic and charismatic. Um, and Lee Kuan Yew here, looking quite thoughtful. And the man here, of course, is David Marshall. So, so I see that there's Lim Chin Siong. I can't really draw on this computer, but Lim Chin Xiao, Lee Kuan Yew, David Marshall, the, the three men are here. They are obviously political rivals, which suggests right, that, that, that many different political leaders are meeting. Um, which then suggests to me that, in fact, the locals are united in seeking self-government from the British. And so I have two ideas. I'm going to connect them, right? Let's type ATQ, the message of sourcing. Local leaders are united in seeking self-government from the British at the Medica Talks. Uh, connect the ideas because the leaders from different political parties are willing to cooperate. Um, uh, in, in the, for the Medica Talks. And then I do evidence. This is evidence from sourcing, which shows uh, a group of local leaders meeting up at Marshall's office, including Lim Chin Xiong and Lee Kuan Yew of the PAP. Okay, I think this would be a strong response, very strong. The fact that you can see unity, uh, unity 
in the local leaders would would uh would already hit the L3 level. And it's not purely descriptive because it drew out the idea of unity and cooperation, right? From the source. So these are the key ideas. The description comes at the end, at evidence. When you describe that you see Lee Kuan Yew, you see Lim Chin Xiong, they are from the PAP, and then you see Marshall, who is from the Labour Front. So these are political rivals, uh, but they are willing to work together. Okay, so that's for the message question. Let's move on next to the purpose question. Let's start the setup. For purpose, we know that we need to do VAMO. Oh, so let's look at it. Um, this is a member of the PAP. <clears throat> he is talking in 1956. Mm, and what does he say? Madeka talks were big. They had a rally in Kalang. Marshall, the chief minister, got a group of British people to come and see. But the rally turned into a riot. Marshall was not able to control the situation. He showed his weakness to the British. So this source is not kind to Marshall. It's in fact pretty negative. He has a negative opinion of Marshall. Okay. And we went to London. And this, of course, is the Merdeka Talks. So now we know that the first paragraph was actually describing what happened before the talks, and this is now describing the talks itself. Of course, Marshall not wanted nothing more short of full independence. He wanted everything. Uh, and as I said, he didn't go there for good reputation. Obviously, the British wouldn't want to hand power over to a person like that. So the talk, in fact, it was a fiasco. And the word fiasco means a complete and embarrassing failure. Once again, the tone of the second paragraph is pretty negative and critical. And in fact, uh, it is criticizing Marshall. So for verb and audience, you could go with criticize David Marshall. This is a acceptable set of verb and audience, but I hope that later on, you will also see that as a politician, he is playing to some, some, another audience. He is in fact playing to the people of Singapore. And if you went with the audience of people of Singapore, you would think that he wants to convince the people of Singapore. And so the two acceptable verbs that we have learned earlier in the year, either of them can come to play. Either Fong Sip Chi wants to criticize David Marshall, or he wants to convince the people of Singapore. And, and what is the message? What, what is the message that he wants to convince the people of Singapore about? Or criticize David Marshall about. I think it is quite clear from the source. The message is that um, David Marshall was a pathetic and ineffective leader who is to blame for the failure of the first Madiga talks. And where do I get this idea? Well, here is the idea that he's a pathetic leader. And here's the idea that the talks was a fiasco, that the failure of the Madiga talks came about from David Marshall's weakness. And, and now I want to do outcome. Outcome that starts with the words, this is done so that. If I were to go with the David Marshall audience, would take personal responsibility for the failure of the Murtaka talks and resign. Thus, the labor front would be discredited and people would support the PAP instead. The PAP assemblyman 
or politician, Mr. Fong, clearly is out to gain more support for his own party. So this is one possible outcome. If you had gone with convinced the people of Singapore, then the outcome is a bit more direct. It is that done so that the people of Singapore would, would see the Labour Front as, as uh, ineffective and weak. Thus, they would switch their support to the PAP, which could help the PAP win the next election. So either way, regardless of which audience you pick, there must be some sort of action that eventually leads to a benefit for the PAP because this source comes from a PAP member. And in 1956, there is a context and the context is quite clear. The context is right. The first Merdeka talks had just failed and Singapore did not get full internal self-government. And so the people of Singapore would be upset and would want to find out who, which political party was responsible. I think this would be a very clear context. And so we can craft the full answer. Mr. Fong gave this account in 1956 because he wanted to the way you would write this answer in case it wasn't clear enough is you would start with the ATQ Mr. Fong gave this account because he wanted to and you would go with one pathway it could be criticized David Marshall and then you continue with the message you continue with the evidence copying the evidence in and then the outcome for David Marshall only and the context. Or you could go with convince the people of Singapore that Marshall was a failure. Um, evidence, outcome, context. You can pause the video here to understand how we thought through this purpose question and to check your own answer. And in case you want to see the whole paragraph, um, in one single frame, I'm going to remove one pathway. So let's just go with convince in this case. And this paragraph would be the full answer sans the evidence right so the evidence would be would be here so this will be a full purpose answer why do you think Mr. Fong gave this account in 956 explain your answer Mr. Fong gave this account in 956 because because he wanted to convince well, the people of Singapore audience that David Marshall is a pathetic and ineffective leader who is to blame for the failure of the first medical talks. Message. This evidence, this done so that, again, the same audience, the people of Singapore, will see the Labour Front as weak. Thus, they would switch the support to the PAP, vote for the PAP, and help the PAP win the next election outcome. Coming from the context of 1956, Madaka talks had just failed. Singapore did not indeed get full internal self-government. The people of Singapore be upset and want to find out which political party was responsible. Sorry, this is the historical context and that would be your full six marks. Okay. Um, I think this is quite clear. Um, if you need to, you can replay that part in order to go through the thinking process for purpose. Let me move on now to the inference question for G2 students. <clears throat> What does this source tell you about the reason for the failure of the first medical talks? Or explain your answer. And so first, as an inference question, I always look at the question focus, the failure of the first medical talks. And I can already start with ATQ, right? The source or source C tells me that 
the, the question is, what does the source tell you? The ATQ is, source C tells me that. That's a direct match. And then I can continue the first Medeca talk, the Medeca talks filled because, and then I want to give the inference. This is because, give the explanation. This is evident from, which states that, and give the, <coughs> give the evidence. <coughs> this is the setup for an inference question. Match the ATQ, give the inference based on the focus, explain, give evidence. Okay, so let's look for the reasons. Right, there's a reason here. The Merdeka talks broke down because of the British suspicion that Marshall would not win the next general election. So it's very nicely fished out here. In fact, even the word because is here. So this is a reason for the failure of the first Merdeka talks. But I cannot simply lift this into my inference because this is my evidence. And so I need to, to explain, I need to state the inference in my own words. In other words, Meta Talks failed because the British feared that David Marshall was incompetent and unable to maintain his power in Singapore. This is because Marshall did not have the popularity and resources to, man, to gain the full support of the people in Singapore. So this could be one inference. Another inference is here. Mr. Xia said that, said that the main reason for the British insistence on having the power that was the main reason for the British insistence for having the power to control internal security in the emergency. This is, could be a second reason. The condition that Marshall was unable to accept. This could be a second reason, right? We even saw it in the, in the background information that, that what? That the talks broke down when Marshall refused to accept British con control over internal security. So this could be a second reason how we craft it. How would we craft it? We would say, again, matching the ATQ, source C tells me that the Merdeka talks failed because Because, well, the British and David Marshall disagreed stubbornly. This is because, this is because the British demanded full power over arresting people, but David Marshall refused to compromise at all. And this is evident from source C, which states, blah, blah, blah. David Mar uh, British insists on having power to control internal security, condition that Marshall was unable to accept. So either of these paragraphs either of these inferences would be awarded at the full L35 level because you managed to identify the reason for the failure of Merdeka talks, explain that reason, and give evidence from the source. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the G3 question, which is a reliability question. And so if we were to do a G3 question now, Sorry, G2 students, um, at this point, you can skip the video on to uh, the next part on comparison, which I will probably record. <laughs> and um, make sure that you check your own inference answers. But G3 students, um, hang on, let's do reliability now. If you are a G3 student, you know that reliability has three steps, right? 
one eighty Q to um inference three cross reference, in which case that this inference alone would maximally be worth L two three marks. You would barely pass for the inference. Um, so let's not think about that. Let's start with the ATQ. Since the word is reliable, it could be reliable because reasonable or it could be unreliable because one-sided. Um, okay, the inference. Inference already done. So, so it could be that the British feared Marshall was incompetent and unable to maintain power or because the Brit British and David Marshall disagreed stubbornly. Um, either one is fine to, to do a cross-reference or to... Uh, okay, so you have seen source B. Source B actually is a supportive source for this inference on David Marshall being incompetent. And the British thinking that David Marshall is weak, you could use source B. But source B is also unreliable. I think I, I've deleted it. Um source B is also unreliable because it is a, a, an account by the PAP, which is David Marshall's uh, opponent, political opponent. So I think the best is to use our own knowledge. Uh, and maybe let's use the knowledge about the disagreement between the British and David Marshall. And in this case, I would go with the reliable because actually everything this source says is true. It's true that the British thought David Marshall was weak and it's true that it is also true that the British and David Marshall disagreed. So let's go with reliable. Source C is reliable because it is so now I'm doing the cross-reference. Reliable means that it must be supported. By my contextual knowledge. So I need to give some knowledge about the first Medica talk space on my contextual knowledge. The British wanted to maintain cont full control over internal security in Singapore because they feared the uh, a communist takeover. David Marshall was stubborn in refusing to accept British control over internal security and was in fact quite lenient on, on trade unionists who had organized riots like the Hockley bus riots. Hence, the British and Marshall disagreed and Marshall returned empty-handed to Singapore and resigned. So that's my knowledge. <clears throat> that's my knowledge here demonstrate that the source is reliable in saying that the Medica Talks field based on British and, the, and Marshall's disagreement. I think it does. Because it demonstrates that although the British wanted a full internal over internal security because they feared the communists, Marshall was stubborn in refusing British control and that is the basis of their disagreement and that is why Marshall uh, came back with nothing. Okay, so this would be a full, strong response. If you wanted, you could pick the other inference as well. That the Madeira talks failed because the British thought Marshall was weak. And the contextual knowledge you would want to use and deploy to support that inference is the idea that Marshall didn't manage to address the Hockley bus riots effectively. Um, in fact, he surrendered to the trade unionist demands and gave the workers a pay raise and refused to call in the British troops to maintain order. So depending on which inference you wanted to check, you would deploy different types of knowledge. In this case, since I've done this, I'm just going to write the full answer. 
Source is reliable because it is reasonable in telling me that. No matter how it's failed because David Marshall and the British disagreed stubbornly because the British demanded full power but Marshall refused to compromise. It's reliable because it's supported based on my knowledge, blah, 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 blah. So this is a full answer. ATQ, inference, and cross-reference. And this would be a six-mark answer. Okay, so that is reliability done. And let's go to comparison. In SEC 2, every comparison question you tackle will be a two-sided comparison. So you must do both similar <coughs> and different. <coughs> And you know that there is likely a comparison of purpose. However, let's start by doing the basic similarity and the basic difference by exploring the sources and looking for where is the similarity and where is the difference. Um, okay, so source D is uh, David Marshall's speech. <laughs> He's probably going to justify himself. And source, C is, uh, source E is a historian. Okay, so very different. Very different sources from very different times. Source B, many people in Singapore have blamed me for the failure of the mission. It's true that I struggled continuously against accepting an agreement that I consider to be unhealthy. I believe it is better to have nothing today than to be stuck to an inadequate agreement. The selfish approach of the British was based on weakness. The view of the British is we need Singapore for military purposes. And since we need Singapore, we must control Singapore completely. The interests of the people of Singapore must give way to our interests. The our here is, by the way, the British. Um, this is a dangerous approach to them as well as to us. Okay, so Marshall is indeed justifying his decision uh, to reject the British offer and to come back empty-handed. Let's look at the historian. Marshall demanded full internal self-government by 957, leaving policy, foreign policy and external defense in British hands. The British government was prepared to gun a great deal. Oh, here, I think I, we see the, the rumblings of a difference. The British government was prepared to demand, a, uh, to grant a great deal. And this is a big contrast against the selfish approach of the British. Okay. So, so I think we found a difference. The criterion being, right, whether the British were being generous to Singapore in the Madagascar talks. Uh, but the British wanted to keep the power over internal security. They promised to use this power only in emergency, but Marshall refused to agree in allowing the British to have such powers. We have also found found the similarity that Marshall refused to agree and the talks broke down at this point. In fact, we have found two similarities. One, that Marshall refused to agree on the question of internal security. And two, two that, that Marshall returned to Singapore to face bitter criticism in the Legislative Assembly. In other words, that people have blamed him, that people are unhappy with Marshall. So we have found everything. Let's craft it. Maybe the similarity first, that's always easy to write. Um, sources D and E are ATQ similar. No, this is really big. Let's go with a different color. Sources D and E are similar. Remember, ATQ then combine inference. Selma is telling me that uh, many locals were unhappy and angry with Marshall for the failure of the Medeca talks. Mm, and that's fine. This is evident from source D, which states and from source E, which states
So this is enough for similarity. It's really easy to craft. Um, it's a really easy format. So you have to grab it. Um, like I said, there is another similarity that we saw immediately off the bat. Is that Marshall re refused to accept or refused to agree to letting the British have internal security and that's why the Medega talks failed. Uh, so that is another possible similarity you could explore and try writing on your own. Okay, let's do the difference. Different in terms of um, uh, whether the British were generous in the first Medega talks. Once you've set up the criterion, ATQ for difference than criterion, once you've set up the criterion, it's quite, <coughs> quite simple to craft the contrasting inferences. You could pause the video at this point to try crafting it on your own. Mm, I invite you to try. In this case, you the way you set up is source D tells me that, whereas source E tells me that. And then this is evident from source D, which states, and from source E, which states. So I have set up the, I've set up the ATQ, the criterion, and the evidence for you. And I encourage you to think about how to set up the contrasting inferences. Source D tells me that the British were not generous because they wanted full domination and power over Singapore. Whereas Source me, CE tells me that the British were generous because they were willing to give Singapore many powers and that's it that's a two-sided comparison similar and different and that will achieve a six mark <clears throat> six marks in this uh in this question what about purpose how would i compare purpose so since I have seen a similarity and since I've seen a difference, I only need to think carefully about the provenance of the sources, if I wanted to compare purpose, if I wanted to, and decide whether the purpose is similar or different. When we look at the, the provenances, one is in 1956, is Marshall. He has an agenda. He wants to justify himself. And one is 2009, is a historian. <laughs> She is unlikely to have the same political agenda. She's not here to whitewash Marshall. She's probably here to tell you the facts. We think that <laughs> the purposes would probably be different, which means I would be transforming the difference paragraph into a different in purpose. So first of all, again, you can just stop here. If you don't want to attempt purpose, this is enough for six marks or seven if the paper is generous. But if you did want to attend purpose, uh, how we do it, we will do ATQ, and then we will do the VAMO. In this case, since we say that the purpose is different, it will be ATQ, VAMO 1, VAMO 2. Again. <coughs> and so, what does that look like? I'm going to transform this answer now. Okay, different in their purpose. Or in terms of purpose, you could use this too. Okay, and now it no longer tells me source D wants to convince verb the people of Singapore audience. So I'm doing my VAMO one now. Yeah, the people of uh, British were not generous because they wanted full domination over Singapore. I'll put the evidence here.
and I'll do outcome. This is done so that, again, the same audience, the people of Singapore, will understand and agree with Marshall's uh, Marshall's uh, arguments and continue to support Marshall to be the Chief Minister of Singapore. Actually, it's not that difficult to compare the purpose, right? It's really the same difference, just equipped now with the FAMO, with the verb, audience, and outcome. Because if you could do the difference to start with, the two messages are already there. The two messages are already there. Oh, and so <clears throat> let's do the purpose for source E now. Source E wants to. It's no longer convinced because it's a historian and historians want to educate. And who do they want to educate is in 2009. So it's probably uh, people, uh, people of the present day. That. That. The British were generous because they were willing to give Singapore many powers. Importantly, the two messages, message one and message two, are contrasting. Right? In, in message one, British are not generous. In message two, the British were generous. The original contrast in the two messages must still come out in a comparison of purpose. Because when the purposes are different, they are contrasting. So the messages should be contrasting. Uh, that's how I developed the contrasting inferences for difference into a contrasting set of FAMOs. And of course, I'm nearly done. I just need the outcome. This is done so that the people of the, people of the present day using the same audience will have a nuanced and clear understanding of, <clears throat> of the first Medica, 956 first Medica talks of why the 1956 First America Talks failed. Thus, they, they can judge the past with uh, um, they understand, thus they can evaluate and historical figures and events with better knowledge and uh, perspectives and deeper perspectives. Fine. Okay. So that's my second outcome. And this entire solution would be worth this entire solution, the normal similarity and a difference in purpose would be worth uh, the full mark. The full mark of 8 marks. In fact, just the difference in purpose alone would be worth the full 8 marks. Um, but of course, we want to also do the similarity because one never knows if you messed up one of the outcomes in purpose. And so the similarity is the fail-safe, right? By having a similar and different in content, you get a 6 mark. Um, any one side would be 4 marks. Okay. Um, at this point, I've gone through the entire paper. It's a bit speedy. Uh, and I hope that you will use this video and the responses to contrast them against your own initial responses, writing and thinking. Uh, and the differences in the thinking or the responses, either A, could be that you also have a very good response that I did not cover, or B, you had a gap in understanding and interpreting the source. And this video hopefully helps you to close that gap. Importantly, don't live from the source. There were multiple moments in this paper where you could have fallen prey to the problem of lifting. Use your own words and make sure you can craft clear responses to the message, purpose, inference, reliability, and comparison source-based questions. Um, this was the first Medica Talks paper, the 2021 end of year exam. And I hope that you have learned something useful from this video. Thank you and all the best in your revision.